Here at Spring Spanish, we think one of the best ways to learn Spanish is through watching Spanish movies and series. That's why we've already made a video about the best Netflix originals to watch. And today, the same for Amazon Originals. Yo soy Cory y en este video vamos a explorar cinco Amazon Originals you must watch if you're learning Spanish. I've chosen one TV show or movie of different genres, so I hope you can find at least one good recommendation. I'll also give you two easy things you should do while watching to make sure you discover and memorize new Spanish chunks that you can start using in conversations yourself. Número uno, Master Chef Junior Mexico. Te voy a decir un secreto. I love reality TV competition shows and I love it even more when these shows take place in Latin America like MasterChef Junior Mexico. Ya sabes la mecánica. A group of participants, en este caso niños, compete for the title of MasterChef. Lots of personal stories there, which I think are not only a great way to learn Spanish, but also an inside look into Mexican families. There you can find a good amount of proper slang that we natives use, but that can also be said on national TV on a children's show. It's of course a great show if you are into cooking y recordarás y aprenderás nombres de vegetales y frutas. Oh, and two things. One, usa subtítulos en español, no en inglés. That way you can listen and read at the same time and you understand much more unless you're a beginner. Only then you are allowed to use English subtitles. Make sure you are listening to Spanish though and don't ignore what is being said only reading the subtitles in English, otherwise it will have no effect on your Spanish skills at all. Oh, number two, pay attention to the phrases or chimes the characters are using. Whenever you hear somebody saying, ¿Qué onda? ¿Cómo te ha ido? You'll think, huh, now I know how a Spanish native speaker says it. Escribe y memoriza la frase para que después la uses tú. And you don't have to do this all the time, but try to find a couple of chunks in every episode to watch. Número 2. Cuando los hijos regresan. A comedy movie aunque padre diga que es más bien de terror, tells the story of Manuel and Adelina, an elderly couple that is ready to enjoy retirement in themselves when suddenly their three children, por X o por Y, return home to live with them. So this couple must find a way to get them out again. Debo confesar que no fui fan de la trama. De repente se pone un poco dramático el asunto, but it delivers. And it has the amazing performance of one of the most beloved actors here in Mexico, who passed away hace un par de años, Fernando Luján. Oh, chunk alert! Did you notice I used two letters of the alphabet to express one reason or another? Por X o por Y is an expression we use a lot in Mexico when we want to tell there is a lot of reasons for something but you won't go over them at that moment. If you use this sentence, sonarás como un verdadero nativo. And for more chunks like this, download our free essential Spanish chunking kit. It contains a list of the Spanish chunks used most frequently by the native speakers in conversations. Oh, and link in the description. Recuerda, pon subtítulos en español 
y escribe algunos chunks para repasarlos luego. Número 3. Cuna de Lobos. Prepárate para una verdadera novela mexicana. Yes, the kind that has made us famous all over the world. I even have friends from Romania who know novelas mexicanas. Here is the synopsis. Catalina Creel, a woman whose beauty equals her evil, hides a great secret for which she is willing to kill even her own family. A bisexual son, a stepson who, according to her, wants to see her finished, and an innocent girl who has been deceived, all the pieces that Catalina will move in her deadly game. Now, this is a remake of one of the most popular telenovelas of all times. Filmada en 1986, era una hora sagrada en casa de mi abuela. Remember me when you hear the infamous sentence Te paso lo que a la gente estúpida y ordinaria Te enamoraste Número 4 Hernán Este tal vez sea mi show favorito de esta lista It's about the conquest of Mexico And each episode is told by someone who knew Hernán Cortés The conqueror closely ¿Cómo pudo un solo hombre con un puñado de soldados subyugar a todo un imperio? If you like history, this is the show for you. But it also has a lot of action and intrigue. And the actor, Oscar Jaenada, madre mía, pero qué buen actor es el tipo, de verdad. Oh, trigger warning for violencia, muertes y traumas explícitos y demás de esas cosas delicadas. This is a Spain and Mexico production, so the accent will be quite strong. And as a plus, sometimes Nahuatl and Maya, dos lenguas nativas de México, son habladas. Número 5. Los Tres Huastecos. It's an honor for me to introduce you to the movie Los Tres Huastecos from 1948. This film belongs to la época de oro del cine mexicano. A period in the history of the cinema of Mexico between 1930 and 1969 when the Mexican film industry reached high levels of production, quality and economic success for its films. Además de haber ganado reconocimiento internacionalmente. This is an amazing tale about triplets raised separately in three villages in La Huasteca, a region in Mexico. Lorenzo is an atheist cowboy, Juan de Dios is a parish priest, and Victor is a captain in the army. Mexican superstar Pedro Infante played in three separate roles as each of these three individual triplets. And it's such a special movie where you can see how people would dress in the towns back then. No olvides anotar todos los chunks que descubras si es que te animas a ver esta película. If Hernan was my favorite show on Amazon Prime, this must be my favorite movie. Tarea. No, no te asustes. Seguro que esta tarea será de tu agrado. I would like for you to watch at least one of these movies or TV shows and write down at least one or two chunks you've learned. Then, of course, let me know in the comments which ones these were and why you like them, ¿vale? Need more great Spanish shows to watch? Then. Check out teacher Paulissima's video about five great Netflix originals in Spanish. Check out that video out right now and by clicking the image on the screen. Adios!